Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulf Street Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. I want to wish all the dads out there a happy Father's Day. And we had a really nice 10 race card. We'll check out the track and weather conditions and then turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello. Racing at Goldstream. Good start out wide for playing gold and Royal Rocker. They're the first two to begin down at the inside. Fulton Street away in the top flight. Splitting horses, Romantic Gamble into Turing. Pink colors floated very deep on the course. Union Freedom saves ground ahead of more adventurous. And the early trailer is Don't Quote Me. Around the first turn they go and playing gold at a nice price in front by half a length. Royal Rocker tries to hold inside ground without having to quicken too much, and she'll do that. Royal Rocker now back on even terms. Third is Fulton Street. Good trip here for Rios. Only about two lengths off the in-battle duo. Then it's back to the outside and into Turing. Wider than her goes more adventurous. Wider than them, don't quote me. Saving ground, romantic gamble. The trailer is Union Freedom. They start to take much closer order as the pace slows mid-race. Royal Rocker by an act. From the outside, playing gold is their second. Fulton Street still has a good seat to the leaders while third. More adventurous has had to plot a wide course into Turing is between horses. Don't quote me, he's been widest of all throughout. Then back to Romantic Gamble and Union Freedom as they round the far turn. Fulton Street starts to launch a bit at Royal Rocker. Royal Rocker with the lead by a length and a quarter. Fulton Street second. Dropping back now is playing gold into Turing is very wide and not really picking up her feet as they swing for home. Fulton Street tries to reach Royal Rocker and Fulton Street is gathering some momentum. Royal Rocker tries to hold her off. It's Fulton Street on the outside surging to the lead now. Royal Rocker is back to second into Turing finishing nicely. Fulton Street close to home. It's Fulton Street for Jesus Rios to win it by a length in the end. The Cassie duo had to settle for second and third as Royal Rocker was second into Turing was third in 132 and one. They're off. From the outside, King Cairo, one of the first to break the line. God's blessing being sent forward. Kiger from up between horses alongside Burhanu. And the early trailer is hard lighting. The favorite is last to begin as they run out of the chute. King Cairo and Chantel Sutherland into the stretch for the lead by a length and a quarter ahead of Burhanu in second. Hard lighting is still last as Kiger is still third. God's blessing at the inside fourth and hard lighting last of the five. So the battle rages on past the five eights with Burhanu in front. Burhanu leads by a length. Second is King Cairo moving into third now is Kiger. Hard lighting two to five and now out of last place. He just took fourth in the white blinkers and the trailer is God's blessing. They move now to the opening half mile station. The opening quarter was 24 seconds flat. Burhanu putting up the numbers. King Cairo is second through a 46 and two half mile. Kiger waiting in the wings for Gonzalez in third. Vasquez giving some green lights to hard lighting to try to launch a bit. He's fourth. And the trailer is God's blessing. And the leader is Burhanu. Three wide in Kiger. From between King Cairo. Scrubbed on fourth is hard lighting. God's blessing is last as they run to the top of the stretch. Three quarters complete. They went three quarters in one. 10 and 4, and they're at the top of the stretch. Burhanu turns first, far outside. Hard lighting begins to find his best ride. In between horses and Kiger, there's an eighth of a mile to go. Here's hard lighting. Now he's quickening, and he's on to take over. Back to second is Kiger, then it's King Cairo and Burhanu. But at 2 to 5, hard lighting will deliver. Hard lighting and Miguel Vasquez going away. Kiger second, King Cairo third, Burhanu fourth in 136 and 3.
they're off. Good start out wide for Staten Island from between horses Jedi Jane. Here's Dr. Roger and Got Fluffy used hard along the rail. Got Fluffy now takes a clear lead. Dr. Roger is a joint second with Jedi Jane. Then out the center, it's Sleeper Ryan S. alongside Staten Island. At the rail, it's Camp Pendleton. Then moving through is Trini John. He passes Westerly Wind outside in Tarkin. Super driver, last of all, with less than five furlongs to run. Got Fluffy went 22 and four for the opening quarter and leads three parts of a length. Dr. Roger on hold while latched on to the leader second. Camp Pendleton is at the rail third, four wide for Staten Island. In the two path, Jedi Jane, three wide sleeper Ryan S. These uh, second flight runners are trying to get Dr. Roger, who has the lead. Around the far turn at the three furlong point. It's God, Dr. Roger off the lead now by two and a half. Trying to take up the slack is Staten Island, who's up into a joint second. Trying to wind it up from the back is Westerly Wind. Black colors circling horses on the stand side with a quarter of a mile remaining. It's Dr. Roger through a 45 and four half mile. He turns first with the lead. Westerly Wind on the far outside. Staten Island from up between. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Westerly Wind up to take on Dr. Roger. Staten Island had to all for racing room inside the final 16th westerly wind is powered forward here's trini john at the rail staten island on the outside dr roger out of gas westerly wind does it he wins by three close then for second trini john or staten island dr roger is fourth in 125 and one They're off. Excellent beginning from Katz Astray. She is in front by a neck early as Foolish Heart quickly is on to challenge. Away in third is Aerosol together with Starship Nala, then Royal Megan, and Victory Crusade is last. They go to the half mile point, and Foolish Heart now has a neck advantage over Katz Astray, who races from second. Victor LeBron has Starship Nala third along the rail, three wide in Aerosol, in between it's Royal Megan. The back marker is the long shot Victory Crusade, and the leader is Foolish Heart. 22 and 2 for the opening quarter. They race to the 5 16 Foolish Heart by a neck. Three wide aerosol from between horses. Cats astray. Starship Nala patiently handled, hoping for a rail opportunity. Quarter of a mile left to go. Cats astray now takes a narrow advantage. Immediately tackled by aerosol. Starship Nala hooking to the outside and they swing in. Starship Nala tries to split horses as the leader is aerosol out in the center. Cats astray battling hard. Then it's Starship Nala and Foolish Heart. Final 16th and aerosol kicks. And clear. Aerosol on the board at six to five, and she'll win it. Aerosol by two in the end. Starship now is second. Cats astray third. Then Royal Megan and Victory Crusade. They're off. At the rail, that's Defendant, who was away quickly, moving to challenge undercover Outlaw. These two speed ahead as Future Princess moves to take third. Viva's between horses. Asperpoti is down toward the inside. Wide on the course, Maricopa and Lovin' Livin'. The race favorite toward the back of the group here, Lunar Blast, just ahead of her went Bella Gabriella. And out the back is Cozy Village. They make their way down the backstretch with Defendant and Jaramillo, clear to lead by three. Undercover Outlaw second, Maricopa third, Future Princess fourth. Improving at the rail, here's Lunar Blast. Pink colors all the way up to fourth now. Out deep on the course in Love and Livin'. Then it's a length and a half to Okalani, who gets outside of Viva. Followed by Bella Gabriella, then Asperpodia, and Cozy Village is still at the back. Farther back to Trini Beauty. She's last of the 12 as they round the far turn. 
The opening quarter was 22 and 4. With the advantage, it's defendant. She leads by two. Maricopa is second. These two have distance on the rest of the field. Up to third is Lunar Blast with the rail run. Love and Livin' is next. Future Princess between horses, then Okalani. Bella Gabriella about seven lengths off the lead, and they're at the top of the stretch. With the advantage, it's defendant. Maricopa launching a bit on the outside second. Lunar Blast has the public pick not out of this yet. She starts to close some ground. Final 16th of a mile. The two up top are weary in front. Front is Maricopa taking a late shot. Lunar Blast down the center and Future Princess. Maricopa close to home. Maricopa. Maricopa breaks through to win it over Future Princess second. Lunar Blast third in 125 and four. They're off. Ali Z was just a step slower than the others. From the center, Classical Magic was away quickly, and she's on to take over. From the outside, Naimu's Treasure away in second. Avenida Manata is down toward the inside. She's floating out Sassy Justice, who's floating out Reagan's Rose. Then it's Noble Intention saving ground toward the inside, and the early trailer is Ali Z. They make their way around the first turn. Classical Magic and Wilmer Garcia clear on the top end. They lead, and lead now by almost two. From the inside and Avenida Manana together with Naimu's Treasure. From the outside and Reagan's Rose. Then Sassy Justice. Noble Intentions is at the back of the field and the trailer is Ali Z. 24 seconds flat for the opening quarter speed as they race to the half mile point. Classical Magic has been in front from the outset. She maintains a length advantage. Naimu's Treasure is there. Second Avenida Manana at the rail third. Sassy Justice being asked to quicken to try to keep her racing position. Then down at the inside goes Noble's Intentions and Ali Z is still out the back to the opening half mile and 48 seconds flat. They leave the backstretch and move around the far turn. Avenida Manana tries to get to the top two. Classical Magic and Naimu's Treasure. Sassy Justice Justice is fourth. Noble Intentions needs racing room. Weaving into the clear is Ali Z. Pink colors five lengths off the lead. Top of the lane, Naimu's Treasure on to put a neck in front. Classical Magic digs deep and tries to fight back second. Avenida Manana loose down the center. Final eighth of a mile, Naimu's Treasure trying to get home. Here's Avenida Manana. Classical Magic still dead game. Naimu's Treasure reaching for the finish. Naimu's Treasure won it. Naimu's Treasure wins. It's close for second. Classical Magic or Avenida Manana in 130 flat. They're at the post, and they're off. From the rail, Liza Starr comes away quickly with Bramble Berry moving to take second, appointed out of their third. From the outside, Awesome Anne Maria is in early fourth. Back to fifth and Mercy side. The trailer is Moana's power. The leader is the favorite, Liza Starr, stretched to a length and a quarter advantage. Bramble Berry is second up on the outside. Awesome Anne Marie now third. 
Appointed is fourth and encouraged to keep up. Back to fifth and mercy side, the trailer Moana's power. 22 and 1 for the opening quarter, and Zayas is aggressive on Liza Star. She's three furlongs from home and three on top. Awesome Anne Marie is outside of Brambleberry in a battle for second. Three better than appointed, then Mercy Side and Moana's Power. They run to the top of the stretch, and Liza Star still has a clear lead. She leads two and a half. Awesome Anne Marie trying to take up the slack second from the outside. Mercy Side gaining ground as Brambleberry is all in. 44 and 4 for the opening half mile. Liza Star tries to see it through. She leads a length and a half. Awesome Anne Marie is coming at her on the outside. Brambleberry's back for a bit more toward the rail. Three chances here over the top. It's Awesome Anne Marie. Brambleberry surging at the inside. Brambleberry and Awesome Anne Marie photo finish. Got to think it was inside, right? Brambleberry out kicks Awesome Anne Marie in one ten and one. They're off. Good start for the gray Djibouti Kaba, who's put into play early with too much tip, moving to or at the rail. These two race on from Sugar Fix, who's looking to get over. Drapes is three wide. Dance Dora was along the rail. In between horses and Mary and Mike, then out wide, Queen of God. The early trailer is Global Brand. And the run around the first turn, Djibouti Kaba beat to the lead today by too much tip, who leads a length and a quarter. Djibouti Kaba has no choice but to sit second with Dance Doro at the rail third. White blinkers of race favorite Sugar Fix racing in fourth now, then the team of Drapes and Mary and Mike. They're followed quickly by Queen of God, and the trailer is Global Brand. 23 seconds flat for the opening quarter speed, less than five furlongs to go. Long shot, too much tip, has the lead at half a length. Djibouti Kaba is second in hand, third is the favorite Sugar Fix. Fourth at defense goes Dance Doro, then Drapes together with Mary and Mike. Queen of God is about seven lengths off the pace setter and two and a half better than Global Brand. 47-1 and one for the opening half mile. They leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. Three wide in the clear. Here's Sugar Fix turning up the heat on the in-battle duo. Trying to run after her is Drapes for all fourth. Back to the inside and Dance Doro. Nothing running home from the back. Top of the lane. Zaya still sitting chilly on Sugar Fix, and she's made the lead now. Global Brand and Drapes, the two Glen Hill horses, try to get to her. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go. Sugar Fix roused on the top end, leads two and a half. Drapes is second down the center of her bar. Buddy Global Brand is third in closing. 16th to go. Sugar Fix almost home. Drapes up the inside. Drapes trying to get Sugar Fix. Sugar Fix close to home. Sugar Fix wins. Drapes with second. Global Brand third. Photo after that, 136 left. Collaborate was well served at the start and reaches out for some forward position. Spear Gun has speed. Caramel Chip moving into contention on the far outside. It's Little Demon as they scrimmage for early supremacy. From between horses, Spear Gun to take the lead from Little Demon, who's moving to him second. Collaborate at the inside third. Princess Secret, the filly between horses, is there fourth. Then Caramel Chip and Alonzo. And at the rail, it's Kazambas Candy. 
Field of seven separated by four lengths in the run past the five eighths. Spear gun leads by a length. Little Demon is second from between horses Princess Secret. Zayas has the odds on favorite collaborate in striking position toward the rail. Out wide on the course in Caramel Chip, then it's Alonzo, and still at the back is Kazambus Candy. They make their way half a mile from the finish. Spear Gun has been in front from the outset, maintains a length advantage. Little Demon is there, second. Collaborate. Looks like he's got plenty, just needs to find some clear racetrack. Zayas working on that situation. From the back, Kazambas Candy. Caramel Chip is three wide in the red, and he's up into a contending spot. Less than three-eighths to come. Spear Gun still has the lead. They've got some, the big favorite, Collaborate, boxed in. And moving on the outside in Caramel Chip, trying to wind it up from the back is Alonzo. Quarter of a mile to go. Off cover, into the clear collaborate, loose and charging, and quickly on to take the lead. Spear Gun is back to second, but Zayas called on collaborate. The response was instant, and he's well clear now. Back to second is Spear Gun. The battle strictly for the Miners as collaborate is moving clear. Collaborate gets back to his winning ways, and he'll win by four in the end. It's a good battle for second. Ooh, that's really close. Alonzo surging at Spear Gun. Too close to call there. Collaborate wins the ninth. Away. Alphalete away quickly from the outside, wider than him as majority rules and saving the rail spot is traceability. He's in hand while third up to the outside, the gray under fire racing between horses Ballisto. Then it's Jarley in black colors on heels. Well, only about two lengths off the leader. Mission brief is toward the rail. The two at the back are Zelinski and Magic Bomb. Around the first turn they go, Chantel Sutherland and Alphalete in front by a neck. A keyed up majority rules moves to him while second, wide on the course under fire. Jarley in between horses, traceability along the rail. A gap of four to Mission Brief, racing inside of Ballisto. Still unhurried is Zelinski, second last, and the trailer is Magic Bomb. 23 and 4 for the opening quarter. Majority rules. Shoves a neck on top. Alphalete tries to counterpunch while second. Under fire is their third. Traceability is in hand for Gonzalez. Fourth at the inside. Jarley and just on his outside. Then back to mission brief and magic bomb. Improving out of last is Zelinski. Now the trailer is Ballisto. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Three furlongs left to go. Out in the center. Majority rules has the lead. Alphalete fights back second. From the back mission brief. Four wide. Traceability needs room. He's trying to find it with Jarley and trying to keep him in. Underway on the big way is Magic Bomb who hunts room for Morelos and they're at the top of the stretch. Magic Bomb got the trip of a lifetime but he's got to get Majority Rules who has the lead. Eighth of a mile to go. Majority Rules leads by two and a half. Mission Brief takes aim second. Magic Bomb back to third. Then Traceability. Here's Mission Brief making a late surge. Mission Brief on the outside of Majority Rules. Majority Rules. Majority rules held on to beat Mission Brief and gives Zayas three on the card in 137 and three. And that wraps up the week's action. Remember, we're dark for live racing on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're back here on Friday with a nine-race card, twilight card, a first race post at 2 p.m. But remember, you can always come out to Gulfstream Park and watch and wager on races in our state-of-the-art simulcast center. So uh, lots of racing going on all week long, live racing back here next Friday afternoon. Good night, good luck. See you Friday. Friday.